press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Great having you with us again. So what will this do for Flipkart's battle against Amazon? Well, it's going to give them a lot of money to uh, wage that war. And it's basically a cost-based uh, battle, talking about discounts and uh, deliver delivery men for the last mile. You talk about marketing, promotions, traffic acquisition. So this is a big cash infusion that'll, that'll be a big help to Flipkart. And SoftBank, of course, let's not forget, is also a big investor in Snapdeal. Yes. Do we get a third attempt to merge those two together? Uh, I would say unlikely for now because there's a bit of bad blood. If you've been following the developments, essentially the co-founders objected to the deal. Mm. And in essence, that was because uh, Snapdeal's valuation has dropped from uh, its last uh, funding round. So right, I think they in had the near a down term, round. That's right, yeah. yeah. So in the near term, I, I, don't, I don't think it's likely, but never rule out uh, the longer term. It depends on how the e-commerce landscape shapes up and how Snapdeal's business uh, as a standalone business uh, develops. Yeah, so how is that landscape doing? How big is the Indian e-commerce market? Well, a lot of people compare it to China about a decade, maybe a decade and a half ago, uh, you know, just on the upswing of this e-commerce trajectory. So we're talking about a, a growing middle class uh, uh, with commerce and incomes uh, just expanding uh, across the board, not just in online. And it's another big investment. Very quickly, how does this fit into Masayoshi San plan, big plan for global domination? Well, he sees this big global interconnected village, uh, you know, driven by data and AI. And uh, Flipkart has a lot of data and a massive user base, so it's right in.